and welcome to Blossom Sandwich Sews. I'm still workshopping the intro but we'll uh, we'll get there with the channel. I thought about lots of ideas about different videos that I could do but then I thought what it would probably be good to kind of kick it off with um, me talking you through my sewing journey so far just so that we can get to know each other a bit better um, because probably not everyone will know um, that I'm actually fairly new to sewing. I've only actually been sewing clothes for around a year and just sewing in general for a hobby um, for about two years. So uh, I did do some sewing at school, like some textiles lessons, but I just, yeah, that definitely didn't get me on the sewing bug um, because, I don't know, just various reasons. Like my teacher was very intimidating and was always telling me off for using the wrong seam allowance and at the time I just didn't even really know why that was important um, and the projects were also particularly uninspiring like making juggling balls isn't that fun if you can't juggle and we also did this thing where we made a, a like a coat to go around our water bottle which was extremely fiddly and also yeah just seemed really pointless um, so I don't even think that that exists in the world anymore. I think that had to be thrown in the bin as soon as it was finished. So yeah, anyway, I didn't end up doing GCSE textiles and basically didn't even really think about sewing until a couple of years ago when my husband and I bought some pet rats. Um, so that seemed probably like quite a random segue, but I had seen a lot of rat cage accessories online and there were a lot of super cute like custom hammocks and stuff on Etsy but they were really expensive and I was like yeah this doesn't look you know it's just a, a sort of square with the bits of elastic on the corners I was like I think you could sew that you know so we um, live around the corner from Hobbycraft so we just popped over to Hobbycraft and were looking at the machines and stuff. It was kind of quite a spontaneous thing really. And um, was thinking about getting one of those sort of children's ones that only does a straight stitch and is like, I don't know, 30 pounds or something. But the Hobbycraft sales assistant said, oh, actually you'd be better off getting like a proper machine, but you know, a basic model and Actually, that was like such good advice because that's the machine that I still use now for everything. And I think it would have just been so frustrating trying to sew like fleece on um, on a terrible children's sewing machine um, because you have to use like polar fleece with rats because it like it's not made of fibres. So if they chew it, like they don't choke on it and stuff. Anyway, so I made a few sort of things for the rats and they were quite good clients because they never complained if there was holes in it in fact they tended to make more of their own holes in everything so um that was fun um, but yeah we uh so then you know because i had the sewing machine and i've always been kind of creative in a way but didn't really have that much of an outlet for it you know after leaving school and i didn't have art lessons or anything anymore so with them I had the sewing machines and I was thinking well what else can I do so then I did all the sort of classic beginner projects of like tote bags and cushion covers and that sort of stuff um, and then I got into watching YouTube videos about um, clothes refashions and all this and bought stuff at the charity shop and tried to upcycle it although that wasn't ever very successful because I tended to buy things that I didn't like in the first place um, and was like, oh, well, I'll make it into something I like. But then the fabric wasn't very nice and I didn't really have a proper plan or, you know, know how to construct garments even. So that was all a bit of a disaster. And I was just like, oh, sewing so hard. I don't know how anyone can do it. Anyway, then um, I saw an advert on Facebook for the Stitch Festival in London. And it was like the one time where the sort of aggressive Facebook algorithm really like paid off for me because I feel like that one advert has changed my life like so much for the better. Um, so on the advert was a picture of like a market stand um, with uh, like Tilly Buttons patterns on it. And they were just looked so 
bright and fun and you know they were all saying you know beginner um easy patterns and it just made it seem so like accessible and I was like you know like I didn't even really have an awareness of like sewing patterns before that I just sort of was like how do you know what to do like I've just been watching you know sort of YouTube tutorials where people kind of make it up as they go along which is fine if you know what you're doing but I didn't um anyway so I saw that and then I looked more into Tilly and the Buttons and I ended up getting the Make It Simple book so that um that came out like around a similar time as the Sitch Festival was on so I got the book got my tickets to the show and yeah the book is great it's got various patterns in you know wide leg trousers and a simple t-shirt and um, cardigan and pajamas and all this um quite accessible easy fitting stuff which is good for beginners and also there's quite a lot of just general information uh, like I think probably like there is in most sewing books about you know how to sew and different types of material and different stitches and what all the words mean as well like um you know under stitching and um tacking and all this sort of stuff it's sort of like a whole new lingo to learn um so that really helped me get started this book and also the stitch festival was amazing because for someone who was a complete beginner like I'd never sewn really anything before going um that was closed anyway I'd done you know the bags and stuff um and I'd never been fabric shopping. So yeah, that was quite overwhelming, all these stalls. And I was like, oh no, fabric's so expensive. And now I'm like spending so much. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then, you know, there were people all around me. So I just went on my own, but then I was kind of, you know, around all these people that were clearly like meeting up with their sewing friends and discussing the outfits that they'd made. And I was like, oh my goodness, like people can actually you know make something that's wearable and incredible so that was such a great experience for me at the start of my sewing journey um and also so that was in February 2019 just at the end of the before times shall we say um so when I was there at the stitch festival I ended up buying a few different bits and pieces including some bits of fabric um so I'll show you what I've bought and then what I made it into so this was um an Ankara wax print fabric that I bought from um Dovetailed London and eventually turned it into a um Helen's Closet Ashton top at the sewing weekender last year another fabric that I bought at the Stitch Festival was this space themed cotton jersey from Harriet at Sew Me Sunshine and I ended up turning that into a PJ set so this is the Tabitha t-shirt from Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple and then I ended up having enough left to make some shorts of the Juno pyjama bottoms so I had a really good experience at the Stitch Festival and then obviously then it was Covid time after that so I had a lot more time at home and also it was really good that I was able to make masks. I made quite a lot of masks for friends and family. Yeah, really got into the whole garment sewing side of it and shop, you know, fabric shopping online. Um, I'd listened to quite a lot of the Love to Sew podcast, which is really like informative. And also like they had some episodes about talking about like the Instagram sewing community. So that kind of helped me get engaged with Instagram and sewing, the sewing community. So that was really good to have kind of a network of people with a similar interest, especially during uh, the lockdowns when you couldn't, you know, really socialize in the normal way. Um, so yeah, that's my sewing journey. Um, and obviously since then I've sewn like tons of stuff and I'll do share more about different things that I've made um, on this channel in the future. Um, but let me know if you've got any questions or leave in the comments about your sewing journey. Like how long have you been sewing? Are you quite new to it? Or has it been something you've always done? Because I always find it quite interesting to hear about um, other people and, you know, where they got into their love of sewing. Because mine, I feel, is quite a random story where I just saw 
one advert and then it kind of all spiraled out from there so let me know if you can pinpoint like one moment that got you into sewing or whether it was more just like a gradual thing that you've always kind of done this um that i'm wearing now is one of my favorite dresses that i've made it was quite an early make but i still really like it and this so this is in a viscose from Lamazi fabrics and I just love the fabric I don't know if I can stand up to show you it's more um so yeah it's it Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress and then it's got it's in this amazing fish print fabric sort of whole undersea themed and it's just so light and floaty um it's so good for the summer I basically lived in this the entire summer last year so hopefully now the sun's coming out a bit more I'll get some more wear out of it. I think that's all I've got to say really about my sewing journey. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you around. Bye.